Hey everyone, so today I am filming a Q&A video. I love filming these types of videos just because I feel like I can connect with you guys more and answer your frequently asked questions, of course. So if you're new to my channel, definitely don't forget to subscribe down below. I posted a picture on Instagram to ask you guys your questions for this video, so if you don't follow me on my social media, you definitely should. My Instagram is at Gretchen Loves Beauty, and then my Twitter is just at GLBYT, and I've been getting really into Twitter recently. I've just been having lots of fun tweeting away. I'm gonna say your guys' names to you this time because I feel like that's really fun. Erin Pigman says, do you ever consider going back to your brown hair? And honestly, Erin, no, because I did that my freshman year of high school and everyone called me Lucy. I just realized I'm meant to be blonde is way more me. Tracy Rosenlich says, hey Gretchen, would you be able to make a video on how you're preparing for your half marathon? Thank you, love you in your videos. Hey, love you Tracy. I don't really know how to be preparing for my half marathon. I can't run every day because I did that last fall and I killed my shins. I had the worst shins once ever. Like, I kid you guys not. I would run between like 10 or 12 miles every day, which sounds so crazy now. Like, yeah, I was in really good shape, but my body was falling apart. So I try to run not 10 or 12 miles six times a week, and now I just do like, smaller distances, I would say three or four times a week. Kevin Droniak says, brows on fleek. Love you, Kevin. Sarah Sunny says, how can you afford all these expensive high-end products? So I get this question a lot. I get worried about showing you guys, especially if it's expensive, because I'm worried about like criticism. But how I afford the things that I want in college and all the expenses in my life is really just YouTube. I'm so blessed and so lucky that it has grown into something that I'm able to support myself with. But I also get the question a lot of Gretchen, like I don't have time for a job. I'm in school. Like how can I make some money so I can afford to get the things that I want? And just one easy way that I know of is this website called Opinion Outpost. They just have surveys on there that you guys can take to get Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and just cash as well. So I think that's a really good option for a lot of you that don't have time for a job. And I'll have it linked down below in the description box. You guys can start taking surveys today and start making money. And thank you so much opinion outpost for sponsoring this video bailey anna says what made you decide to rush this spring so this is still so weird for me even like talking about it because i feel like i've only decided like so recently that i'm going to rush but i did mention it in a video or two now so you guys know that i rode d1 on the lightweight women's rowing team my freshman year last year at boston university and then i stopped rowing this fall so i was almost worried that i would have too much free time but that was not the case at all like i was so busy with classes and really any free time i had i just filled up with youtube but i just figured it would be good for me to branch out and make some more friends that aren't only athletes because now I'm pretty much only friends with like rowers which I love because those are all the girls on my team you know and I'm still friends with them but I just think it would be good for me to branch out and make friends with people that aren't athletes. Maya Ray Cherry says are you going to vlog your trip to Africa and I haven't really thought about it that much I don't know how able I will be to vlog while I will be climbing this huge mountain but I feel like that's gonna be an amazing unique once in a lifetime experience so I will try my best to vlog. I know Sasha will be really into filming so there will be vlogs. Amanda Dottie said if you could travel to one place in the world right now without having to worry about paying for it where would you go? I feel like this is so typical but really the answer would be the same even if I was paying for it and it would just be the beach like somewhere warm like in the Bahamas or like a tropical island like Tahiti. Morgan Doling says, how did you know BU is the college for you? And really, if I could go back to senior year, I would have changed a lot about my college search. I was so like tunnel vision just on a school that had competitive lightweight rowing because that's really all that I wanted in a college. But I mean, I didn't know anything else like my senior year of high school. That's just really what I wanted. So literally the only reason I went to BU is because I was recruited for lightweight rowing and I didn't apply to any other colleges, fun fact. So that's really like the only reason I went there. I mean, also I knew that I wanted to go to school in the city because I'm such like a city person so it's funny that I'm not rowing anymore but luckily I still love BU even without rowing. Jamie McNutt said did your belly button piercing hurt and do you recommend one and my belly button piercing didn't hurt at all like I was so nervous I was like freaking out and she's like okay it's done and I was like what like it literally didn't hurt at all so if you want one go for it like I definitely would recommend it because mine didn't hurt at all. Maddie Lewis 15 says can Lucy do a hair care routine and actually I think she did one this summer on our vlog channel so if you're not subscribed to our vlog channel I'll also have that link down below definitely go subscribe it's just called Gretchen and Lucy and I post vlogs in there all the time. Lucy and I would do them together over the summer and we did vlogmas together but back at school she's still rowing and she needs to like focus on that on academics and she doesn't really have time to be vlogging so during the school year it's pretty much just mine but sometimes she'll be a part of it too so that's why it's called Gretchen and Lucy. Delaney Grace oh she asked two questions she said are you going to do an updated Lululemon collection? Mm, I don't know I like just did it it must have been around a year ago but yeah I don't know I feel like I haven't gotten that much new stuff I mean some stuff and I've gotten rid of some stuff so it might be helpful for you guys. Thumbs up this video if you want to see an updated Lululemon collection so I can see how many of 
you want to see one. She also said, are you becoming a yoga instructor? So I know I talked about this in videos past and I'm so interested in becoming a yoga instructor because it just seems so interesting to me and my yoga instructor like recommended that I should. In Boston, she's like the best, I love her. So I was like so gung-ho about it, like right as I heard about it, but it is like extremely expensive to get your 200 hour yoga certification license. So that's like one thing I have to take into consideration. And also it's 200 hours. It's like very like time intensive. I think it's over eight weeks. And I just don't know if I can commit to that right now for the spring because like I said, I'm going to be rushing and still having my full 18 credit coursework. You know what I mean? But I still might end up doing it this spring. I just kind of have to look at like how busy I am and see if I can handle it. So I can't really commit to it like right now. So if I don't do it this spring, I will probably do it in the future. Natash B says, do you miss swimming at all or regret quitting? So I don't regret quitting because Lucy and I were at a very busy point in our life. We had just quit basketball. We were still doing volleyball, swimming, and rowing and so obviously still three sports at once was like a lot like eighth grade was so wild we did four sports we literally did basketball rowing volleyball swimming so I don't know how I lived in ninth grade we decided to stop with basketball and we also stopped swimming I think at the end or beginning of ninth grade I don't regret quitting just because we had to focus on rowing but I do miss it and I think it's such a good workout and you guys know if you watch our vlogs that Lucy and I were just swimming the other day and I feel like it's something that you don't really lose like if any of you are swimmers like I literally didn't swim in so long and I just hopped back in the pool and I just started swimming again and could swim an hour straight. I feel like I didn't lose any speed at all. Like I just picked it right back up. So that's really fun. Kylie DeGust says, do you and Lucy ever fight? Love you guys. Yeah, we fight all the time, but she's still my best friend and I love her. Morgan RW18 says, what eyelashes do you wear? And I get this question all the time and I don't know if I've even said it. I've said it maybe a couple times. And these are like the only ones I've ever worn just because I literally just started wearing them like a month ago. And I saw some other YouTuber recommend them and I don't even know if they sell them like in the store at all anymore. So I just like ordered them online and like bulk like I think I ordered like 10 packs so these eyelashes are called the kiss ever easy lashes and if I can find a link to them I might link them down below but I don't even know if I can find a link so no promises just google it and I'm sure you can find them like all over the internet shell.y so Shelly maybe says you probably won't answer this but it's worth a shot I'm answering your question girl I got you she said did you ever have braces and what was it like I might be getting braces soon I'm a little nervous Ah, uh, don't be nervous it's okay it's gonna be worth it because your teeth are gonna be way straighter after and you're gonna be way happy. See, I, I did have braces, that's the answer to the question. I had them for four years, guys. I had them from sixth grade all the way through 10th grade, which was wild. Totally worth it because my teeth are very straight now. Oh, she also asked, what is your favorite acai bowl place and where is it located? It has to be in Manhattan Beach in LA, so obviously not very convenient because I'm on the East Coast. But it's called Paradise Bowls and they have the chocolate peanut butter acai bowl and it's so good. Liz Westbrook says, what is your favorite part of college in comparison to high school? So definitely just the independence of living not at home and like living at college and just having to worry about yourself and being able to like be selfish that's like the best part like you don't have to collaborate with your family on like dinner plans and like always like let your parents know where you are and where you're going and what you're doing you literally can just like do things for yourself obviously you'll be accountable like a little bit to your friends like you'll want to hang out with them and make dinner plans with them but it's like a lot more independent than high school sky kendrick says sorry but i have to ask do you think you and sasha might ever date by the way i love your videos and how down to earth you are oh love you sky and no we're never gonna date we're like really good friends but he actually has a girlfriend right now and you guys are always like oh my god you guys are gonna date and like no we're not gonna date so no hi alana if you're watching this you're not watching this but alana's his girlfriend and i love her she's the best heather nash shen says do you like being a twin yes i love being a twin this is my best friend ever and if she didn't go to be with me i don't know what i would do Kaylee Swartz says, have you had any other serious boyfriends besides Justin? And no, I have not. Tara Murray says, what is the farthest you have ever run in one run? And honestly, it was probably, I would do this run a lot last fall to keep up with minutes for rowing. So I had to work out a bunch. This sounds so crazy now because I would never do it now. But a lot of the times last fall, like one practice would be like 120 minutes. So I was injured with my back. So I literally would run for 120 minutes. I would do 60 minutes on the treadmill. Actually, I would get off and stretch and then do another 60 minutes but the longest run I have done in one run was with Lucy last winter when we came home over break we also had to obviously keep in shape for like rowing in the spring and one day I went on one of her crazy runs with her I don't know if you guys know but she was so into long distance running last winter she got like so skinny and literally would eat like over 3,000 calories every day and 
was just so thin and so in shape because she ran like literally two hours every day. One day I was like, okay, I'm gonna go on one of your crazy runs with you and I literally was so sore for like a week and like couldn't walk. Yeah, I think we did like 120 minutes, so that's two hours. And we were probably right around a half marathon distance. So 13.1 miles, it was probably right around there. But I am not even in that kind of running shape right now for my half marathon this April in Oklahoma. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Marissa Rays says, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I will be 29, so hopefully married with children. That would be nice, maybe one or two kids already. I think I want three kids, so yeah. Definitely married though, hopefully. Oh, it's so weird to think about in the next 10 years, I'm gonna like find the person I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Gabby Hutchinson 18 says what is your college major? I still haven't decided what I'm going to concentrate in but it is just general like business management and I will probably concentrate in either marketing, entrepreneurship, maybe finance. Olivia Funyak says what is your favorite place to visit? I already kind of mentioned this before, anywhere warm, on the beach, tropical, preferred. <laughs> Sophie Collins says, what is the name of your black Patagonia parka? Oh, and I get this question a lot, it's actually like hanging up right there, and it is the Patagonia Downtown Loft Parka. It's like really long, it goes like to my knees, which is so nice and so necessary in the Boston winters. And I'll have it linked down below if I can find the link to it. Mackenzie Jane 22 says, is dorm life at BU like living in the city or does it still feel like a campus? I'm applying there. Cool, maybe I'll see you around. I guess it depends where you live on campus and to me it feels like a city but also like a campus. Like I live in West and West feels a lot more campusy to me because there's like grass, there's like athletic fields all over because it's like where most of the athletes live. So that's a lot more campusy. But if you live in Central or like East Campus, that's a lot more city-like. Especially East Campus, like that's literally like right near Kenmore Square. So that's a lot more city-like. But you can kind of find both at BU, which is what I like. So that is all the questions I have time for today. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.